Sandra, this is not our idea of Queen Victoria, is it? She's pretty short and she's pretty teeny tiny around the waist. Look how small that is. She is. Well, she wore this dress when she was about 16 years old, so it is pretty teeny tiny. It's and so she... cute. <laughs> it is cute. She was five foot one and three quarters. And the sleeves are very beautifully puffed, as any 1830s evening gown would be. The silhouette of the dress is also off the shoulder and creates a very beautiful line around her neckline. It's possible she wore it the first time she met Prince Albert. That's so romantic. But what do you think she thought of fashion? Because she really doesn't have a place on the best-dressed list of queens of history, does she? She was certainly very, very interested in fashion and extremely aware of the power that fashion had in shaping public opinion. For big public occasions, she always wore British, and that was something that was always clearly identified in newspaper articles describing her clothes for any particular event. Do you think that Queen Victoria self-consciously constructed her image? Definitely. She was absolutely obsessed with theatre to the point where she actually dressed her family and friends as well. So say, for instance, um, this is the christening of Princess Vicky, her eldest daughter. And you can see that the Queen is here wearing a very magnificent dress in silver and gold, looking very queen-like, but it's also a very special group, um, distinguished by their unified clothing in, in silver, gold, and white. And again, when Queen Victoria visited Scotland in 1842, she went to Drummond Castle for this enormous ball where everyone wore tartan except for her. Oh, it says here, her dress was composed of rich Spitalfield silk of a pale pink. Are you saying that she outclassed everybody else? <laughs> Not necessarily that she outclassed everyone else, but she's certainly dressing to stand out here. She had worn tartan throughout the entire visit to Scotland in 1842. For days on end, she's dressed from head to toe in tartan. And on the biggest, biggest day of the entire visit, she decides to wear pale pink in front of a backdrop of tartan. Mm, that sounds rather lovely, doesn't it? Mm.